Oh, oh, oh. Nice. Got the perfect area. Snake it underneath. Oh, he's in the wheel area. The actual hard area to get into. You have to solve an entire puzzle to do that. And he just cheats his way in. What a guy. <laughs> what the f <laughs> You idiot. <laughs> Anyway, what's cracking, guys? It's time again for another video game meme session. I, you know, I'm somewhat of a gamer myself, considering I literally have two controllers, different ones, within arm's reach at all times. I mean, I got another controller here, too, but this one's more of a life controller. Uh, but anyway, yeah, we're gonna be doing some video game memes today, lads. If you guys enjoy some video game memes, just like myself, you're somewhat of a gamer. Uh, yo, slap that like button, subscribe, stick around, because I have plenty of fun to be had here. Let's get straight into it. The first player to reach hardcore level 100 in Diablo 4 has seen their character perma die after 82 hours of play when their game disconnected from the server. They manually took the server down without any prior notice because they needed to fix an issue where people weren't able to buy stuff from the cash shop. Frig up, I don't believe it. That's too perfect to be true. Amazing. And then the patch notes that they fixed an issue that prevented players from consistently progressing through the checkout flow for purchases. Oh, oh no. The person that actually loves the game most gets destroyed by the cash shop. Oh no. Like, don't get me wrong, this is hilarious, but I also hate that you can do this. Takes me right out of the game, and the immersion in Breath of the Wild is maybe the most important part for me. Again, I just read it like that because it starts with like, so it's just immediate valley girl. And it looks like someone responded, you control the buttons you press. <laughs> You're not gonna get broken out of the immersion if you don't make it. Wow, who would have thought in a single player game you don't have to look at what other people do, wow. When I was a freshman, I wanted to dress up for Halloween because I thought college students would have the spirit. So I made an entire school kid cosplay and wore it on Halloween. When on campus, realized instantly no one else was dressed up and this is how it went for me. As everyone's just dead to class and he's the school kid. Majora's Mask. Oh my gosh, that's terrifying. Yeah, that's just how it is. It kind of was the same in high school, too. Most people didn't have any dress-up spirit. I dressed up as Sonic. That's right. I even, like, jailed my hair up into a blue spiky thing, and I ran around like in Sonic. I had the shoes and everything. I probably was the only kid that really did that for Halloween, but you know what? I was Sonic, and they weren't. No matter how fast I go, I can never escape the pain. So it looks like Link's laying on Tetra while she's doing appropriate stuff, and the guard's like, hey, come on, it's time. And she's like, come on, get up. And he's like, oh, okay, fine, I guess I'll go with them. Put on your guard uniform, get out there. And, um, oh, oh, some noise is going on, and what's Zelda doing as she gets away and goes off in her pirate outfit, and hey, come on, guys. Um, okay. I mean, is she supposed to be the villain in this situation and they're just trying to get out? That's kind of cute, I guess. That's kind of cute. I mean, Link would know the entire thing. I kind of did like Tetra as one of my favorite Zeldas because she actually did go out. She helped you throughout the story. And even during the final battle, she was pretty useful. I mean, she actually helped you fight. Uh, it was great, you know? Not many games out there where the princess actually helps you out. How many can I put you down for? A lot? Please say a lot. I need this. And it's the Lord of the Rings Gollum at all the different consoles. <laughs> Nobody's buying it. Bro, you put that at $40? Nobody gonna pay $40 for that piece of crap. <laughs> it's a good ad though. It's a good ad, but man, I, I don't think anybody should buy that thing. Bro, ain't no way this man just made a helicopter with rotating turrets? Bro, what? Oh my god, it even locks onto the enemies down below and blows them up. Actual attack helicopter? Bro. I need one of those. <laughs> I might need one of those. That seems pretty nice. I would, I would appreciate one of those myself. Monster energy drinks. And, uh, alright, the first status effect, it restores fatigue. Cool. And then it has three unknown effects. <laughs> 
You have to drink it to find out. <laughs> yeah, I don't really trust that kind of stuff. That was kind of like what you had to do in Skyrim. How do you find out what it does in Skyrim? Well, you just eat it. What does the giant toenail do? Om nom nom. Oh yeah, I just realized I'm in my Bowser shirt here. I'm even in my Bowser gaming shirt. The perfect time to actually start doing a, an actual video gaming video. What do you know? Look, it's even got a cool back. Check that out. The entire, yeah. Yeah, check them out. <laughs> Leave a like for the Bowser gaming shirt. Military grade robots. They dress like hookers. Hmm, that's near, okay. Uh, are you trying to tell me that we, as humans, could not make our military-grade robots dress as hookers, given the technology? Yoko Taro has held a mirror up to humanity. If you don't like what you see, it's because you're afraid of the truth, and this guy gets it. <laughs> and what kind of idiot would make a robot you can't fluff, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, dude. I guess that would be the future right there, I suppose, yeah. I hate to admit it, but yeah, if humans are going to start making robots, you bet that they're going to make ones that you can fluff. Dark Souls player memorized the attack patterns of a shower and they just looking. And he just goes, yeah, manages to get out of there, no hit run. Okay, I mean, again, that's just like Toho players or something like that. I've seen this one kind of, but that's just ridiculous to me. Seeing no hit Dark Souls runs is still one of the most amazing kind of speed runs out there. I think it's really cool. Oh, yeah. Hello. Oh, yeah, that's about right. No. Well, yeah, it's Pride Month, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's Pride Month. I guess that's a good comeback. <laughs> it's that one there. Uh, online lobbies will never change. So PlayStation controllers, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Well, yeah, they've all remained the same. And there's always rooms for improvement. Well, you know, Xbox, you know, got a little bit narrower, less big. Um, innovation requires taking risks, and yeah, I guess, I mean, I wasn't a huge fan of N64, but the GameCube controller was pretty decent. I'm not a huge fan of the Wii. And then, uh, with the Sega, <laughs> Sega Saturn, like, what was that? Round boy. I mean, the Dreamcast controller was okay. No, I don't know, man. Maybe I just have fond memories of the Dreamcast. The VMU thing was fun, too. You could take it out, play a little bit of video games, but the battery of life never was that good. I met my Minecraft girlfriend, and she wasn't a man. As the guy, oh, as he's trying to recreate the picture of her in Minecraft or something there, <laughs> okay. I mean, I guess that's kind of cool. Yo, congratulations, dude. Girls exist, I guess. So here we have a spectacular 4K Ultra 144 FPS PC build plus VR headset plus snacks. All the stuff in there for $3,499. Wow, that's a lot of stuff you could get there. 1,000 McDonald's chicken nuggies too, wow. Or you could just get the Apple Vision Pro with its two hour battery life. Two hour bat, I can't, I cannot fathom where someone would waste that much money on garbage. <laughs> I mean, the technology is cool and all, but nah, fam. Two hour battery life, no nah way. Your Uber is guardly. Um, such a sweet soul. I always try to book a ride with her. She even offered to take my groceries to my apartment. Oh, that's nice. And then your Uber is hat hat. And avoid at all costs, this girl is crazy. I almost threw my baby out the dang window. She was... <laughs> Thankfully, you know, you can choose the Pokemon. You're right around. All right, that's all I'm going to say. And that's how, with a, a few simple modifications, you can turn one sword into five sword. <laughs> I never tried that before. You can actually metal together like that. If you could actually use them, like, you know, actually use them and swing them around, that would be cool, but you can't. It's lame that you can't do that. You can't attach it to something and that would work. Hello, he the heavy from Team Fortress 2. Hello, Demon King Ganondorf from The Legend of Zelda Tears of the King Sandwich. That is the best heavy voice I can do. <laughs> And they both just have the big gaping. That was a very silly mouth when I saw that. Oh, Ganon with his silly mouth. I mean, it's good though. It's good. I like I like the silly evil. Taking a break from Zelda to play edgy Zelda. And uh, yeah, Darksiders 2. <laughs> that, that's the, yeah, Darksiders 2 on that one. It was a fun game. It was cool. It was definitely different from the first one. The first one was actually just Zelda. Like legit, it was it was it was just edgy Zelda, and it was great though. 
I'm back. Oh, finally, your trip to Hatena Village has uh, taken almost a month. Did you find any clues about Princess... Wait, what? And pizza time. <laughs> he's got the hat. And he made the cheese, though. Yo, he made the pizza. Let's go. <laughs> Hatena Village was kind of fun out there. They got a whole spry uh, village out there full of quests and things to do. It's pretty neat. Hey, yo, it's the Green Goblin, but he's destroying the book omelets. I mean, I guess that's what he would write as he goes around dropping bombs if he wasn't Zelda. That's a really funny image. I like that one. So it seems a lot of people had trouble with this certain puzzles that they're trying to flip this one around, trying to get that in there. Does it go into the square hole? So many people apparently had a, a lot of troubles uh, maneuvering that sucker in there. Link, you must find me. Where the frick am I? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I guess that's kind of the underworld in, you know, the, the new game. <laughs> maybe if you go down too deep, maybe if you, you get stuck in there. At least, at least Link can ascend through the, the roof. That's, he can get out of there, probably. Hey, look, it's the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Atop of Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> I like how they even have the like, Sonic and Knuckles on the thing. That's really clever. I like that a lot, man. That brings back some Sega nostalgia, baby. So it seems Link has made the hammer to destroy everything. I mean, with something that thick, oh my god, the attack power must be really good. <laughs> with Zelda attached to that. Sheesh. He's gonna smash so much moonstones and golems and things like that. Heck yeah, man. Anyway, that's gonna do it for a video game meme session out here. I mean, it's kind of like just another Legend of Zelda almost there, but I mean, and there's more video games involved than just Zelda, although that is what's on my mind. Maybe a little bit of Diablo 4. I kind of want to play a little bit more of that. But for now, I hope you guys enjoyed this because, you know, if you did, you support the series, oh, I'll make more. You know, I just as a you know fun little thing. And I'm glad that you guys enjoy the new video game series out there. You're enjoying it as much as me. And um, yeah, just want to shout out to you. But for now, uh, thank you once again for watching, and I hope to see you beautiful sons of guns again next time.